Hello YouTube, Maggie Arabea here, and today I'm bringing you another RuneScape update video um, for April 18th. And I am super excited today because today marks the release of the new NXT client for RuneScape 3. And I have been waiting for this to come out since they announced it. Um, I've been in both of the closed betas they had, and now I'm super beyond stoked that it's finally here i can't wait to jump in and play um so yeah that's the big piece of news is the client's available um it's really easy to set up just i mean took literally two minutes to install not even that um and it's available for windows I think for Apple I'm pretty sure and um, Linux yeah Windows Mac and Linux but anyway that's the big piece of news um, another thing that's out is Benedict's World Tour um, in Birth Rope there's a Pacquiac, um who needs you to go to 16 different locations and find items that he's dropped um, he'll give you a little book with pictures of the locations you need to go to. And it just so happens that um, each of these areas are a really nice place to go and see that really show off the details of the new client. Um, and for every, I think, yeah, let's see, for every four you get, you get an XP lamp. So, yeah, no reason not to do it. You get to check out the the new visuals of the world and how beautiful everything is. Um, another thing, on the Solomon stores, there's a new Royal Eastern outfit. Um, yeah, from the Eastern Islands. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Might check it out. Um, they're going to be doing some live streams this week. I don't really want to go over them. You can pause and read over them here if you want to. And then also we have patch notes. Um, I haven't read them yet. I've kind of just scrolled down. There's a good bit of them. But uh, we're going to go through these. Graphical wise, um, players with the 15 year emote unlocked can now perform the 2007 variant. Um, K thanks B now wields her Gorongite two-hand sword correctly while in combat. The extreme heat of the lava hood was causing players' eyes to reject reality on their chat heads. This has now been fixed. F fixed an issue with the mask of the yellow worm, incorrectly showing skin color on the player's chat head. Players no longer stretch while using the rev Revenant walk override with exquisite crossbows equipped. Players can no longer walk through a section of the gate between the Mortmire Swamp and Canifus. Players no longer float in the air near the Mauritania Energy Rift. They fixed an issue with a chair in the Myrkis base in Berg de Rot. The jagged or raised up cliff faces to the east of the dig site have now been bulldozed. Removed an extra blood pool from the Berg de Rot underground crypt. Players can no longer remove the stairs into the Canifus Bank. The Ghoul Champion now has knees. Tables in the Canifus Pub no longer float. Vialaf has made his memorial a little sturdier so players should find they sink a little less into the hard concrete. Fixed a graphical issue with blood letters during the quest Lord of Imperium. There is no more sunshine on the Canifus building roofs with dynamic lighting turned on. They've stopped players from sinking into the ground on Red Dragon Island. Players no longer reappear at the end of Adrian's teleport override. The player-owned player house banners no longer clip when wielded in Legacy Combat mode. They fixed the Clan Wars height mapping issue which made players sink into the floor. Fixed a graphical issue in the Vorok Archery Shop. 
fix some height mapping in Broomhaven Dunge Dungeon. The Dragon Forge was running a little cool recently, causing some slight shrinkage issues with Dragon Armor. Worry not, Dragon Armor no longer has a small gap between the player's waist and now correctly lines up. They fixed a hole in the wall in the tunnel leading to the Blood Altar. Fixed some discoloration on the Dark Cavalier. The dilapidated Dragon Perch in Clan Sedils has some stretching fixed. Prevented Grim Nash's lower beak from getting stuck inside his own head. The strange power of Damonheim made Drummo Leather coifs act a little funny. This power has subsided and the stretching has gone along with it. Cam Freena in the Warriors Guild now sports a defender. Zombie tops no longer clip with the player's bodies. Fixed an issue in the section of the short full beard becoming invisible in certain so wait. Fixed an issue with a section of the short comma full beard becoming invisible in certain circumstances. The museum curators have received complaints and as such have updated their display of the giant mall. Fixed some clipping issues with a water tank in the elemental workshop. The gilded kite shield will no longer stretch if sheathed. The caporia top, caporia top now correctly shows the player's skin tone. They corrected an issue with the outposts near Ardru's Display cases blinding visitors who have bloom enabled. Corrected a very bright glow around the McGrubber's Wood Fairy Ring. Stopped the player's camera from jumping around when entering the Alcarid Mine via the agility shortcut. Warlord boots now changed correctly to match skin tone. Removed some floating shadows that were hanging around the roof of Birthrope Castle. Aviancy Claw Overrides no longer stretch with certain emotes. Tezrek Jad's chat head has been fixed. The Blazehound Legendary Pet now correctly performs its resting animation. Elin Anareth has had a word with the people who run the Max Guild, who now have updated the invention banner's colors to reflect the skill cape more accurately. The Revenant Walk animation no longer breaks augmented salamanders. That's nice. Players no longer sink into part of the walkway in the Heffen district of Prathenis. Skills D&Ds and minigames. As fallen rocks can be a hassle when looting chests, the Barrow's chest now has a right-click quick loot, quick loot option when once opened. That's helpful. Players can now view their treasure hunter options while having the promotion info interface open. Updated the description uh, for disruption shield on the livid farm reward interface and spell tool tip to mention that it also works against NPCs. The strange old man has now remembered how to dig at the barrow's mounds. Hmm. I don't understand that one. Iron Man can now purchase void charms with dollar. Quest, Challenges, and Achievements Fixed a spelling error with Finescula Chathead during the quest Lord Vampirium. Draken's Medallion will no longer use up a charge when teleporting from the Daylight Mine or the Ravenous School Cellar. Aboritum Guards can no longer sneak into the nearby bank in Darkmire. Aeon Sig will now correctly offer the free teleport during Darkness of Hollowville. Corrected some grammar used when filling the crate with snails during an aid of the marquee. Updated the title and cosmetic override unlock messages in Death of Chivalry to refer to the customizations interface. Updated the interface used in for the Letter of Darkmire. Fix the typo in the Call of the Ancestors quest journal. The Heart of Gilinor. Challenge mode against the Heart's bosses now has a greater effect on the rare drop bonus chance rate. That's nice. Fix an issue where certain feedback messages were being displayed in the wrong parts for the Heart 
when attempting to summon reinforcements from the Ingression's fragments. Corrected the entry for the Wand of Kririt, Kaiwir Elders, in the Magic Skill Guide. Simplified the Rockfall sounds in the Twins Fur Furies boss room. I said twin the Twin Furies. Twin Furies boss room. Corrected a typo when handing in seals of the Kaiwir. It is no longer possible to safe spot Kaiwir Alphas during the Hellwir encounter in the heart. Anima Core of Saran Helms now have a chat head animation. Fix the examined text on the glimmering scale. A dwarf no longer spawns on blocked tiles within the heart. Added some blocking to an area near Silisca's Necropolis in the heart to prevent players from walking into scenery. Other. The Orb of Ox Oculus's maximum range now scales with the draw distance setting when using the NXT client. The Orb of Oculus can now be controlled via an Xbox controller in the NXT client. That is pretty cool. I'm going to have to try that out. Iron Man can now start standard respawn rate boss instances for free. Fast and fastest as well as hard mode. God Wars Dungeon and Hard Mode Virago will still incur a fee. The mirror back special attack now reflects up to 3000 damage to enemy targets. The effect of the natural instinct ability is now cleared upon initiating a fight in PvP. Serpentine two-handed crossbows can now be used with broad tipped arrows and or royal bolts to kill Korosk and Turofs. The missing posters in Berg de Rot now correctly say abductee. Remove the rewards chest and Ajat from the Heart of Gilinar event area. Kill and drop logs in rune metrics now work correctly for God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses and from looting the Barrows chests. Characters will now correctly face Dalit rocks when attempting to mine them. The mire ditch miners now facing are now facing in the correct direction. Fix the typo on the right click option with Dalit rocks. Corrected a misspelling of granite in Valif's memorial to the marquee dialogue. Astromancers around Gilinor have now been removed. Fixed a spelling issue when attempting to rejoin a Yakamaro fight in progress. Storm Shard stacks now persist between phase transitions of most bosses and NPCs, not including Virago. These stacks are still halved between next transitions and now also when beginning a fight against Araxi. Fixed a double spacing issue in the name of the Paladin outfit in the wardrobe interface. Attempting to trade keepsake keys in Dungeoneering no longer kicks players from the floor and party. Ironman gravestones now appear outside the instance entrances for King Black Dragon, Calphite Queen, and Corporeal Beast should Ironman die within. Changing, changed wording when a gold accumulator degrades to dust. Removed a forced walk tile north of Alcarid. Added quest and defense requirements to chivalry and the piety variants in the prayer skill guide. This is a lot of stuff. Level up unlocks are no longer cleared if the player clicks the interface while still in combat. The level up pop-up no longer displays an incorrect skill or level upon gaining a level. Good, that has been messed up for a long time. It would always show the skill like one level lower than you were. Broadcast for 50, 100, and 200 million XP in a skill now work correctly on non-member worlds. Players can no longer place a clan Vexlixum, I can't ever say that, inside a bank's healing area. The Berserker, Reckless, and Manacle Aura now all correctly give a warning message if active when an attempted aura swap happens at a bank. Added some missing blocking at the incandescent wisp bridge. Imps can no longer spawn on a tile in the river of Lumbridge. Resolved a game crash issue when dragging around the adventurer's parent interface. Players who lose membership with Zanuck as a follower can now dismiss her. 
added blocking around Death's Hourglass to prevent players being automatically walked away. Change the tooltip wording for the Equilibrium perk. Some of the Chronicle players were in slightly inconvenient locations. The stray Garajo has had a word with him, them, and they've kindly located from the vacated from the premises near Catherby and Karamjo. Ninja fixes. Pyrolog storage chests have been added near the funeral pyres in Morton. These allows play, allow players to store up to 30,000 of one type of pyrolog at a time. Reassessed Morton Shade's combat stats. Lore, Friend, Ryle, Azen, and Fear remains are now stackable. Oh, that is really nice. I like that a lot. Added the color of the lock as a suffix to the name of the chest in the Shade Catacombs. Rewards are now placed directly in your inventory when cremating Shade remains. That's nice as well. Rasmir now sells Shade Luring Dummies. These may only be placed around the temple at Morton, and Shades will prefer to attack these over destroying the temple. Timber beans used in Shades of Morton are now stackable. That's nice, too. Alright, these have been the patch notes. Thank you, everyone, who has tuned in. I am now going to log into the game and check out the NXT client and do some skilling. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.